Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're checking out the new Quen Image Edit, brand new AI tool that can completely transform your image with just text prompts. From changing backgrounds, removing objects, or even editing text inside a picture, this model will do it all. And it's an open source. I'll show you exactly how to install it and how to make it work. And it might be the most powerful AI image editing yet. So let's get it started. So as you can see, this is the Quen image edit page and native workflow example. We're in the Comfy UI, official Comfy UI website. So here's the workflow file, and this is an example. You can edit image like this. This is all the models and everything. And you can even download the GGuff version if you have low VRAM. So here's the Hugging Face website for that. Okay, so if you have eight gigabyte of VRAM, you can download this. The Q3 version is for low VRAM and Q8 for higher VRAM accordingly. So as you can see, option one over here, you can download Quen 2.5 VL7B edit. If you have more VRAM, if you have less, then download the below one. Okay. So as you can see over here, here are a few examples of the Quen image edit. And here's the workflow. And over here, you can download the model just from here. And just click it right over here. And there's a file you can download. If you want GGUF, you can download this. If you want, just download this. And instead of this diffusion model right over here, this is the FP8 version. You don't need that if you download GGUF. You can use the Lightning, LoRa, which will do in four steps. So this is the text encoder you have to download. If you have low VRAM, as I told you earlier, download the below one. If you have more, you can use the 7B edit one. And VAE, right over here, you can download that and paste it in the model's VAE folder. So here's the photo. There's our four cats and a camera over here. And I don't need this camera. I just need the four cats. So as you can see, this is the image. So this is the text prompt. Remove the camera in front of the photo, okay? And we're using the lightning axe. So in this four steps, you'll need it. And it'll take, it'll save a lot of time. So one CFG, obviously, and here, are all the K sampler settings. There's no camera in front. So I'm using the running hub. That's why there's a logo over it. So my subscription got over and I cannot get rid of the logo because the payment service is down. That's why. Okay, as you can see, the camera has gone entirely. There's no even pixels or anything. Okay. And I didn't have to even mask edit the image. So here's the Quinn Hugging Face website over here. They have shown many models what it does and do. So if you have a side picture, it can obtain the front view. So now let's check it out if it can do it or not. So I'll write the same thing. I'll write obtain the back view because we already have the front view of the cast. Okay. So as you can see, it took 21 seconds for this generation, last generation. And this will also take around 20 to 25 seconds. And I'm using the RTX 4090 inch this, okay? So as you can see, there are four cats already backside and the GoPro is back because we remove the text prompt. So now I'll write, remove the camera in the front of the picture or just the front, that will also do. So as you can see, it took around 20 seconds for this, 30 seconds for this edit, and this will take around 20 seconds right now. So this is the image that we got. See, the cat of racing behind and the GoPro is also done. So this is very powerful. And right there with flux context, or maybe even be better, I'll make a full video comparing both. So as you can see, obtain the front view. I'll write this and as you can see, has obtained the front view. It has obtained the front view of the car as well as the girl. The front view of the car, as you can, 
You see, she was sitting behind. Now she's sitting on the bonnet. Now we'll write, I want the girl to be sitting at the trunk only. So we'll write another prompt like to this. The girl, she is sitting at the back of the trunk. Okay, so we added this and everything else is the same. So as you can see, very good for four steps and 20 seconds. It's very, very good as you can see. But the thing is, it's making little plasticky thing, but still it's good. It's new. There might be Laura's coming and everything else. So let's take six step now and let's to compare if six step is better than four steps. Because for light X two volts, when we use that, I think six steps is generally more better. So for this one, let's see if it's better or it's the same. So on the left hand side is the six steps and on the right hand side, there's four steps. So currently, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, there's no difference. Very small difference. This model can do much more things. So as you can see, image editing, removal, it can remove, strain, and everything from the thing. So now with the same image that we have, we're going to remove the car behind the girl, both the cars. So this is opting the front view. She's sitting in the back of the trunk and remove the cars at the back. This is the prompt. And as you can see, it has done everything that we asked for. Okay, let me just save this image. So now let's try another image and see if it can do much better. So as you can see, this is the image and change the color of the car to black and it has done it. Okay, let me save this and I'll show you what it cannot do or do it worse. So as you can see, the image, the color change has been very good, but there are some drawbacks as well. I'm going to show you later on in the video. So change now, I'm writing, change the color of the girl's dress to be blue. Okay, as you can go, you see, this also took 27, 37 seconds. So if you're using 4x step right over here, you can use one CFG. If not, you can use 2.5 and everything is right over here. You can check it out. So as you can see, it has changed the color of the dress to blue. And one thing, as you can see, the face, it has changed the face a little bit. As you can see, she has green eyes and over here, she doesn't, she has it, but still the face looks a bit weird and not the same. Okay, so here I've changed the dress into a bikini to see if it can change the dress fully. So it has changed. And now I'm using Euler Ancestral with six steps. Okay, I was just checking out everything and now let's try the normal FP8 version without the LoRa. And as you can see, first, let me just save this file and this over here. So this on the right hand side is with light X, sorry, lightning with four steps LoRa. And on the left is without one. So looks good. As you can see, this is more natural looking and on the right is more detailed and a bit plasticky. So you can choose any one which you like. Okay, so guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this type of videos I'm making, please do like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. And please tell me, what all videos do you like me to make? I will try to make it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.